Magandang buhay po at welcome po muli sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong ituturo is how to solve problems involving probabilities of simple events. Magpipresent po ako ng 11 problems with complete solutions. At sa ating pong pagpapatuloy, kung ikaw po ay bago sa aking channel, click mo lang po ang like and subscribe upang ma-update ka pa po sa ibang video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Okay, so magpipresent pa ako ng 11 different word problems regarding probabilities of simple events. So yung problems po ay mayroong choices. So paano po ba ito natin isosolve? So kung mayroong pong problem na sinasagutan mo at wala po na kagaya dito sa problem na ipipresent ko, pwede mo pong i-comment sa comment box at tutulungan ko po kita o i-guide po kita kung paano po ito isolve. Okay, number one. Pag-asa or the weather forecaster said there is a 30% chance of rain tomorrow. What is the probability that it will not rain tomorrow? Okay, so mayroon po tayong choices A, B, C, D. So yung given po dyan ay the chance of rain which is 30%. Pero ang tinatanong niya ay yung probability na hindi daw uulan bukas. Okay, so syempre kung ang probability na uulan bukas o yung chance na uulan bukas is 30%, paano natin naman kukunin yung chance that it will not rain tomorrow? So, yung percentage po natin is only until 100%. So, kung yung chance of rain is 30%, so subtract lang po natin sa 100%. So, ang matitira ay 70%. So, therefore, we can conclude that the chance that it will not rain tomorrow is 70%. Okay. So, pwede po, kung halimbawa ang pamilihan nyo in decimal form, pwede pong i-decimal yung 70% na 0.70 or 0.70. Pero sa ating pong mapamimilian, meron pong 70%. So, yung uh, sagot po natin o yung answer po natin is letter D, 70%. Okay, so number 2 problem. Suppose you toss two fair coins once. How many possible outcomes are there? So, A, 1, B, 2, C, 4, and D is equal to 8. So, if you're going to toss the two fair coins, here are the possible outcomes. It can be kapag tinos mo the same coins parehong head or can be the same tail or can be tail head or it can be head tail. So if you're going to count how many possible outcomes, there are four. So sa choices, that is letter C. Okay, so how about this number three problem? In a 300 ticket draw for Barangay Fiesta, Alma's name was written on 21 tickets. What is the probability that she would win? Okay, so, mayroong 300 ticket at yung ticket po ni Alma is 21 only. So, ano yung probability na mananalo si Alma? Okay, so, meron po tayong choices A, B, C, D. So, how to solve this problem? First, alamin natin, Alma's number of tickets is 21. And, the total number of tickets is 300. So, ang gagawin lang po natin dyan, get the probability of the number of tickets of Alma over the total number of tickets. Ano po? So, that is 21 over 300 or in decimal, that is 0 0.07. So, bakit ko po dinesimal? Kasi yung choices po natin ay nakadesimal. So, dapat i-decimal po natin. Ano po? So, sa choices, ang sagot po dyan ay letter A, 0 0.07. Okay, so how about this number 4 problem? A number cube is rolled. What is the probability of rolling a number that is not 4? So we have choices A, B, C, and D. So the problem asks, what is the probability of rolling a number that is not 4? So hindi raw natin makukuha ay hindi 4. So from the number of cube 1 to 6, 4 daw yung hindi natin kukunin. So what is the number the event occur? So ito yung mga event that occur. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. So, all in all, there are 5. Yan po yung mga hindi number 4. Yan yung tinatanong ng problem. Ano po? So, the number of possible outcomes natin dyan ay 6. So, to get the probability of getting not 4, uh, the event that occur over the possible outcome is 5 over 6. Okay, since yung ating pong choices ay fraction, hindi na natin ide-decimal. So, meron bang 5 over 6 sa ating choices? Yes, that is letter C. Okay, so how about this number 5 problem? A spinner is divided into 5 equal section number 1 through 5. 
predict how many times out of 120 spins the spinner is most likely to stop on an even number. Okay, so yung spinner daw ay mayroong 5 sections. Okay, numbered 1 to 5. At mag spin daw tayo 120 times. So ipipredict natin how many uh, possible outcomes or how many times na magpo-fall yung spinner sa even number. So yung keyword natin dito ay even number. Is it letter A, 30, B, 48, C, 72, and D, 100. So, how to solve this one? We start this on this part. So, yung spinner natin ay numbered 1 to 5. At sa 1 to 5 na yan, ano yung mga even number natin? 2 and 4. So, 2 and 4 lang po yung even number natin. So, the number of event that the even number occur is 2. Dalawa lang po yung even number. Ano po? So, yung possible outcome po natin dyan, one, since 1 to 5 dyan, that is 5. So, if you're going to get the probability of even number, that is, di-divide lang natin 2 over 5. Or, in decimal, that is 0 0.4. Ano po? So, ngayon, since 120 spin yung ginawa po natin, multiply po natin yung 120 spin times yung probability ng even number na 0 0.4. Okay, if you multiply... The product is 48. So, sa choices, meron bang 48? Yes, meron po. That is letter B. Okay, so about this number 6 problem. Alma stands in the lunch line at school. For her dish, she can choose either adobo or minodo. For drinks, apple juice, orange juice, or milk as choices. How many different combinations of one dish and one drink can Alma choose? So, we have choices A2, B5, C3, and D is equal to 6. Okay. So, how to solve? There are two ways. Okay. So, isa po ay by combination. Lilist natin. So, yung dish po natin is adobo and minodo. And drinks po natin ay first, apple, then orange, then milk. Yan po yung combination ng adobo. Sa minodo naman, Pwede rin po natin ulit i-combine yung tatlong drinks, apple juice, orange juice, and milk. So, if you're going to add sa adobo, how many combinations? Okay, 3 po. At sa minodo, there are 3 also. If you're going to add 3 plus 3, that is equal to 6. So, there are 6 combinations and that is letter D. Okay, so there is other way to solve this problem. So, count how many dishes There are 2. And how many drinks? There are 3. You just multiply, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Okay, so how about this number 7 problem? Pantog flip a coin 50 times during a mathematics experiment. The coin landed on tails 21 times. Based on Pantog's result, which of these statements is true? So we have choices A, B, C, D. Okay, so tingnan natin. There are how many trials? There are 50 trials kasi 50 times na pinlip ni Pantog yung coin. Ano po? At Novas, out of 50 is 21 tails. So therefore, we can conclude, siyempre 21 yung tails, 29 yung heads. So from the statement, letter A, sa so choices, the coin landed on tails more than expected. Is that true? Okay, no. Letter B, the coin landed on heads less than expected. Expected rather, that is no. How about letter C? The coin landed on heads more than tails. Mas marami daw baga yung heads kaysa tails. That is yes. At sa letter D, tignan natin. The coin landed on heads less than tails. That is wrong. So therefore, yung sagot natin dyan is letter C. Okay, so number 8. In a basketball contest, among predicted, he would make 80% of his shots. He actually made 21 out of 30 shots. How did Amang's prediction compare with his actual result? Okay. So, nag-predict na si Amang ay makaka-80% na makashoot sa kanyang shooting. But, nung ginawa niya yung shooting, naka-21 lang siya out of 30 shots. So, how did Amang's prediction compare with his actual results? So, meron po tayong choices A, B, C, D. So, ito po yung kanyang expectation, 80%. Pero, nung nag-shot siya, or nag-shooting, nakagawa siya ng 21 shoot out of 
30 shoot. So, ibig sabihin, ang namiss niya dyan ay 9 shoot. Ano po? So, pukun natin yung kanyang probability na na-shoot niya. So, the probability is 21 lang out of 30. In decimal, that is 0.7 or in percentage, that is 70%. Okay, if you are going to compare, yung nagawa niya out of expectation na 80%, Tingnan natin kung alin ang tama sa choices natin. Letter A. His prediction was the same as his actual result. Pareho ba yung prediction niya sa actual niyang ginawa? Hindi po. Kasi po 70 yung nagawa niya, 80 po yung expectation niya. So that is wrong. Letter B. His prediction was lower than his actual results. Okay. Lower baga yung kanyang prediction? Hindi po. Mas mataas. Ano po? That is wrong. Letter C. His prediction was higher than his actual results. Okay, that is true. So, mas mataas po yung prediction niya na 80% kaysa yung actual niya na 70%. So, therefore, yung letter D is wrong na yun. So, yung sagot po natin dyan is letter C. Okay, so how about this number 10 problem? In rolling a die, what is the probability of obtaining a 7? Okay, so yung keyword po natin dyan ay 7. So ano yung probability ng ma-obtain natin ay 7 in rolling a die? Okay, so tingnan natin, yung die have numbers 1 to 6 only. So the number of event that occur, ano ba yung 7 dyan? Wala. So 0 yung number of event. Ano po? So yung possible outcome po natin dyan, there are 6 Numbers sa die, so 6 ang possible outcome. So, probability of event is uh, the event occur over the possible outcome. So, 0 over 6 or 0. So, therefore, ang sagot po natin dyan ay letter A, 0. Meaning to say, pag sinabi mong 0, never to happen. Hindi po mangyayari kahit anong gawin mo na pag-roll lang die, hindi po lalabas ang 7. Kasi yung number ng die ay 1 to 6 only. Okay, so how about this number 11 problem? In rolling a die, what's the probability of obtaining a number less than 7? So yung keyword naman po natin dito is less than 7. So ano ba yung mga number less than 7? Diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At yan din ang nilalaman ng die. Numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 din. Ibig sabihin, kapag i-roll mo yung die, kahit anong gawin mo, ang lalabas, it's either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ay iyan ay pasok dun sa tinatanong ng problem na probability of obtaining a number less than 7. So, yung number of event that occur, that is 6. And the possible outcome is 6 also. So, if you get the probability, you just divide 6 divided by 6 or 1. In percentage, that is 100%. So, ibig sabihin, kahit anong, ga, anong gawin mong flip or rolling a die, sure to happen na lalabas ay less than 7. Na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kasi yun lang mga number na yun ang meron sa die. So our answer is letter D, 100%.
Salamat po sa ponood. Nawapo ay natulungan ko kayo sa inyong aralin. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more video lessons. At ito po yung references sa aking ginawang discussion.